Hey people, Scott Attack LP coming back with more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. There is some shit in my way. What the hell, man? Okay, so I am recording this on Tuesday, the same day that I recorded the last section. So I'm actually uploading the section at the same time so that you can see just how fast they upload. Okay, right now the first video is at 48% upload. Let's go ahead and use this Devon scope so that this piece of shit will get out of my way. We will go ahead and see just how fast these videos upload so I can get like a decent time. I'm estimating like 10-ish minutes for each. So since it's around 50, it should be like five minutes in. The first video should be done uploading. Which it might be a little bit faster than that, might be a little bit slower than that. Not entirely sure that's why we're checking this stuff out. Just just a little test to see my upload speeds and whatnot. Not that it's really that important to anyone, but just just good to see just how fast they can go up. And my soda is far away from my computer screen, so I'll go ahead, uh, this cord will not be long enough for me to walk over there with my computer. Ugh, just, just wait, just wait. I got this, I got this, I got it, I got it! Got my soda, got my soda, got my soda. Go away mouse cursor, stay away from that minimize everything bullshit. Thing. I do not want you touching that, because you roll over that, and then I get screwed over. You roll over, I get screwed over, sudden flash of magic. Magic the Gathering? Nope. Chuck Testa. That's right, you didn't think you'd be hearing about Chuck Testa, did you? Well, you were wrong, bitch. You wrong, sucker. You look like Sonic the Hedgehog's mother. <laughs> awesome. Just... Just gonna go ahead and quote uh, Epic Rap Battles of History right there. Lorenzo, como esta, señor Lorenzo? Uh, we had to pick Spanish names because that, we can't have that. We can't have like normal names, so most of our Spanish teachers had us pick Spanish names so that it'd be easier. We could like roll off the tongue so that when we're talking, we don't have. It just be like, hola, como esta Ryan? And make a big deal about how retarded that sounds and other such nonsense. And my Spanish name was Lorenzo for three years, and then the fourth year I had a teacher that really didn't give a shit about Spanish names, so. We had it for three years and then fourth year, and then I gave up after four years because we learned like five bajillion ways to conjugate these words, like every verb, and I can I couldn't stand like the three or four different ways to do it. It was like there's present, there's past imperfect, and there's past preterite, and I had trouble with that because of course with every other language, obviously, there's going to be like 15, 20 words that just screw you over because they don't follow the rules, which pisses me off. It pisses me off quite a bit. Not as, not as much as I before E, because I before E, except after C, or when it sounds like an A as in neighbor or way, or these 15, 30 other words that don't really follow this rule. We're just going to throw them in there and nuzleaf on nuzleaf action. Oh yeah, getting dirty. Oh, they're even the right genders. There we go. We're getting this. Oh, you fucking bitch. Fake out is worthless though. You have nipples. Why do you have nipples? Seriously, why? Why, what, what logic is there in having those, like, it's just, why? Okay, so, four minutes, four, fifty seconds into this recording, the first video is uploaded, scrolling on down to the second video, where we are at, like, three percent. 
So, gonna gonna be having more fun here. Oh yeah, just quick type some stuff in my video because I forgot to put a description there. Awesome, just just throwing in a description there because I forgot we are at seven percent on the next video, so this might be done before this episode's done. Good to know. Just does a little bit of testy test. You know we gotta testiculate. That sounds horribly disgusting. Why does everything no fake out? Seriously, what the hell, man? What the hell, man? WTF, mate? WTF, mate? Oi, right, mate, I'm Australian for some reason. WTF, mate? Because that is as a perfectly realistic accent to be having. You are going to be using Swift on me. Well, you know what? I'm faster than you, so I guess you're not so swift after all. <laughs> hollow laughter. So much hollow laughter at all my genius puns. I mean, these puns, these puns are genius. How can these puns not be genius? Hey, stop cutting! <laughs> you emo bastard. Oh, I'm just... I am just douching around right now. I'm, I'm just being a complete asshole with these jokes. You telling jokes? You cracking jokes? Think you're funny, little man? You think you're real funny, don't you? Think you're real clever. It's like a maze here. Where if you don't want to deal with shit, you can just avoid all the wild battles, but it takes longer than just running straight through it. Although technically maybe it doesn't sense, well, if you're going to be running, you're going to have to like walk regular speed to get through those. Then again, there is a lot of winding in that. Was there an item up here? There was not an item up here, so this is worthless to me. I do not care. So we got crazy bug guy here, I'm guessing, so, uh, uh got ahead with Archimedes, because I think this is the guy with McQuazarine. I don't, I don't know why this guy's sticking in my head, like, as the McQuazarine guy, McQuazarine, McQuazarine, what, what the fuck's name is it? Surskit. That's, that's the pre-evolved form. Well, not pre-evolved form, that's the unevolved form. Pre-evolved form means, like, if they made a new evolution that comes before in, like, a later game, so it's like, oh, if you add this spell tag to it, it'll have this baby. And you'll be like, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Surskit again. This... These all came out in the same generation, so it's not really a baby Pokemon, I guess you'd say. But still, the the idea the idea remains that okay, another Surskit. Okay, it it does evolve in the McQuazarin or whatever the fuck its name is, McQuazarin, McQuazarin, McQuazaquad. That sounds incredibly retarded, gotta be honest with you. Mega Leg! Mega Leg was an awesome boss in a game that I did not enjoy that much. I mean, Metroid Prime Trilogy, good game. At least I'm thinking his name's Mega Leg. Uh, that might just be my retard name for it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Mega Leg. Metroid Prime Trilogy is a good game! first one, the, the first Metroid Prime game, was the best in my opinion. The, the second one, I just got pissed off because the swamp area is terrible. I mean, I, I did not enjoy the swamp area in that. The, the swamp in that... That was... that I did not like that at all. I did not like the swamp. And that, that kind of made me feel bad, because the rest of the game, the rest of the game was good. I enjoyed the game. 
the the dark light switch between the universe bullshit that 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 eh I feel like that could have been better in a way but I I guess I, I didn't like the fact that you would go to the other dimension and you just instantly start losing health. That that did not seem fun to me. I, I didn't care for that aspect of the game. And that combined with the terrible, terrible problems I had with that swamp area. That swamp was bad. I did not enjoy that swamp. I enjoyed the game, I didn't really care for the light-dark aspect of the game, and I didn't really care for the swamp area, but, I mean, it was good. I'm not saying it was bad, especially, especially after you got past everything and you went into, like, robot world, like, Skyland or whatever it was. What the hell was that called? It was like... It was like Sky World or something. Skyrim was it called Skyrim? No, I don't think it was called Skyrim. It was Sky World. What was it? It was. It was like this giant mechanical platform at the top. I'm I'm looking it up. This is going to slow down my internet speed a little bit though. But whatever. Um, what was it? Metroid Prime. Echoes. Let's see if the wiki page has something about this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Wiki Troy, there we go! The Metroid wiki should know what I'm talking about as it loads up very slow because, well, I'm trying to upload videos at the same time, so it loads a little bit slower. Uploads at 76%. Awesome. Where we got, we got blah blah blah. Where was it? Um, blah blah blah. And their concept. What was that called? I forget. Um, but let me let me quick pause the recording so that okay. Thanks, little boy. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this recording so I can figure out its correct wording because I know I'm probably screwing it up by calling it Sky World. Okay, it didn't take me too long to figure it out. The boss I'm thinking of is not called Mega Leg, it is called Quadraxis, which. Quadraxis! That, that guy is badass. I mean, I love Quadraxis. That was a genius. Boss. I kind of like the bosses in that game because it wasn't just you kill them and that's it. It's like you kill them and then they get another form and then you kill that form and then it gets another form and then you kill that form and then finally it might be dead possibly if you're lucky or it'll come back as another form. So Torvis Bog, that's, that's the place I hated. Sanctuary Fortress is a place I loved. It was all mechanical, future, futuristic nonsense. It, it looked pretty awesome. I mean, Sanctuary Fortress looked pretty awesome. And I am at 99% uploaded for uh, for the other episodes. So, yep, I would say that my estimation is about right because. I'm about a minute behind-ish, and well, I don't know, not not too much, not too much off. That that's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty damn good. But I I did like Sanctuary Fortress. That that was that was a great place in my opinion. I maybe it's just because I like the futuristic robot hellscape that was kind of like twisted broken metal everywhere it looked awesome in my opinion and quadraxis mega leg as i called him quadraxis quadraxis pretty badass boss probably my favorite boss from that game mainly because the other bosses probably just pissed me off I also enjoyed Chica or Chica or whatever the fuck its name was. The 